here for the solution for the step one the torque is expressed as follows the tau equal to fr here f is the force exerted on the object and r is the perpendicular distance now for the part a for the rotational speed to remain constant delta omega equal to zero we require a equal to zero or tau equal to zero the condition is met when tau equal to tau 1 plus tau 2 or is equal to t1 r1 minus t2 r2 is equal to 0 or we can write it as a t2 by t1 equal to r1 by r2 so by substituting the value we get 2a divided by 1.5a which is equal to 4 by 5 now therefore the ratio t2 by t1 is 4 by 3 ratio of t2 t1 is 4 3 now for the part b initially omega i is less than 0 since the rotation is clockwise for omega to increase in magnitude that is more negative we want tau is less than 0 using the result obtained in a we see that the condition is satisfied when t is great t2 is greater than 4 by 3 of t1 when t2 is greater than 4 by 3 t1 now for the part c similarly for omega to decrease in magnitude that is less negative we want tau is greater than 0 using the result obtained in part a we see that the condition is satisfied when t2 is less than 4 by 3 of t1 it is less than 4 by 3 of t1 so this is a complete solution with the concept and explanation step by step please go through this thank you